Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to SML Movie, Junior the Thief by SML. Now, my best guess based on the thumbnail and the title of the video that he's going to steal money from Bowser and then, uh, you know, madness ensues. You know, there's obviously going to be like some, some starting, uh, some beginning thing with like a filler joke or something like that, maybe. And then, you know, he steals money for, for some reason, maybe, you know, uh, for Cody or something like that. I don't know. Cody was in the thumbnail, so that's my best guess or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, read in the description, make subscribe to SML, like, sub subscription, let's just get right into it. Oh, man, I don't want to mess this up. Hey, Junior, what you doing? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to put this screen protector on my phone. Well, it's always good to use protection. Ooh, if my parents use protection, they yeah. wouldn't have me. <laughs> Filler joke. Oh, God, yeah. I just don't want to mess this up. I only have one chance to put it on. Dude, I suck at putting screen yeah. protectors on. I'm oh, my God, but guys. Good oh, yeah, it's really easy. Sex oh, joke. Well, well not really sex yeah, joke, sure. but like, kind of. All right, Junior, so the trick to putting on screen if protectors you know, is if you, just slap if it down really fast and don't yeah. think about it. But don't think about it. No, because if you think about it, then you're going to get nervous, when you start to make mistakes. I guess that makes sense. Okay, now watch a master do it. Just gotta line it up and bam! What? What? Cody, you put it on sideways. Well, yeah, I, I I just wanted to show you how not to do it. Okay, what? so we're just gonna take this and uh, peel it off. Okay, and then and then and then we're gonna do it for real. Yeah, I have it. But Cody, you're not even putting it on right. Well, well, you know what it is? It's this shirt. That's the problem. The shirt. Dude. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like really tight and it's restricting my arm movement and it's just in the way. I'm gonna go take my shirt off. What? Yeah, okay, daddy's ready. It's gonna be way easier now that I don't have that disgusting shirt on me. Dude, how does the bow tie stay on? Oh, it's drilled on. What? Drilled on? It's yeah, drilled you can on. Drill stuff into walls as long as you find a stud. Why is his chin like? Oh, Cody, can you just or like his bottom right? lip yeah, just like easier. protruding okay. out a little bit more? <laughs> Cody, we're not even, not even close. I think okay, I have a screen okay, protector, yeah, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Cody, you're not even trying. It's not really I'm that trying, great. Okay, I'll do it. Just watch. You know, I'll just do it. What, no, no, Jun Junior, it's, it's these shorts. That's the problem. They have to come off, too. What? No, Cody, you know, I'm just going to do it myself. You know what? No, no Junior, I'll, I can I'll just do let it. Me, just let me don't do it. Just, I don't what? Oh. What? Oh. Cody, you just broke oh, my okay. screen protector. Uh. Wait, Cody, that cost me So let me guess. So let me guess. My best guess now is that they're going to go buy a new screen protector uh, with Bowser's money, or I guess whatever his n a new name is, uh, Bowser's money, or whatever, and that's that's why it's called Junior the Thief, so yeah, that's that's what's happening. Uh, now I have to go ask my dad for more money, and I don't even think he's gonna give me any. Uh. Cody, say something. Uh. <sighs> Uh, Dad? What? <gasps> what do you want, Junior? I'm trying to take a nap! Uh, you know that screen protector you just bought me? Yeah, what about it? Cody broke it trying to put it on my phone. Dang it, Junior! That's a $50 screen protector! Why aren't you more careful? Uh. That's all you have to say? Uh. <sighs> wow. Look, Junior, I guess I'll spend 50 more dollars wow. on the screen protector instead of spending thousands Comedy. of dollars on a whole new phone if you were to break that one. Wait, you'll buy me a new screen protector? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, 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 where's your wallet? What, wallet? <laughs> look under my bed! Wait, look, look under your bed? <gasps> Why do you have so much money under your mattress? Junior, ever since I was 18, I've been stuffing my- Guys, you, you guys watch Spongebob? You guys ever watch Spongebob? Because I've watched Spongebob before. I've watched Spongebob before. I remember that one episode when, um, uh, Spongebob and I think Squidward or somebody bought Mr. Krabs a new mattress and they had to get his old mattress back because he kept all his money under the mattress. I remember that. That was a good episode. My mattress with cash so the IRS wouldn't find my money. Oh, that, that's a really smart idea, Dad. I know. So get what you need. Get a hundred dollar bill and bring my change back, okay? Oh, okay. L thanks, Dad. Don't tell anybody about my cash. I don't want Chef Peepee thinking he can get paid now. Oh, okay. I, I accidentally took yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't take too much. Okay, okay that. thanks, Dad. Guys, guys, guys! My dad gave me money for a new screen protector! Alright, that was Dude, it for us. I didn't know your dad was loaded. I mean, I knew he was a DILF, but I didn't know he was a sugar daddy, too. No, no, guys. I mean, this is, like, all he had in his wallet. Dilf, it's not really? like he has, like, a thousand of dollars stuffed under his mattress or anything. That's kind of specific, Junior. Yeah. Well, guys, you're, like, questioning me. Like, you're acting like he, like, sleeps, like, on a million dollars under his bed, like he's hiding from the IRS or something. Dude, you, do you have something to say to us? Yeah, does he? What, no, guys, look, I'm gonna go buy a new screen protector, and I have to give my dad back the change, because he's not rich or anything. He's, he just, he's really poor, and he, he's gonna give me back the change. Yeah, okay. Like, it's supposed to be our, our money for our food this week, but uh, he said go get a screen protector. All right, guys, I got another screen protector. All right, let daddy get to work. No, no, daddy's not gonna get back to work, because yeah. you broke the last one. So my best guess is that they're gonna figure it out, and then they're gonna just go buy a ton of random crap, and then, uh, yeah, 
Bowser's just gonna realize at the end or something like that. I don't know. Man, at least he called me daddy. Well, no, look, I'm gonna call a professional company to put the screen protector on my phone. You just love wasting money, don't you? Well, then you wasted money because you broke my last one. That was $50. You just wasted money. But, Junior, I told you the shorts were the problem. Just let me take my shorts out. No, the shorts have nothing to do with it. Look, I'm gonna no. call a professional company. Okay, fine. I'll go look at myself in the mirror. I'm guessing it's broken. Got yeah. Doctor screen protector? Uh, yeah. Why do they call you Dr. Screen Protector? Oh, because I'm like a surgeon because of how precise I am with putting screen protectors on phones. You're that good? Oh, yeah, I'm great. I got a PhD in screen protector. Protective putting on Ning. I wanted to be a screen protector putter on on my entire life. You know, I come from a long line of screen protector putter on it. Okay. My great great grandfather put the first screen protector on the first screen. But he did? Yeah. Yeah, our last name was actually going to be screen protector putter on her. But, you know, that's kind of hard to fit on a license, so we just changed it to Guy, you know, because people were always like, who's that guy who puts screen protectors on phones? And and then, yeah, we were like, oh, Guy, yeah, that's a good. So we changed it to Guy. Oh, okay. Anyway, I guess that's kind of funny. Yeah, your phone. Oh, 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 I mean, you actually, oh, just oh, adding okay. backstory yeah, to the that, characters. Uh, now where's the screen protector? Is this it? Oh, oh, whoa, what happened here? Oh, my friend tried to put a screen protector on my phone. Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you do some amateur screen protector puttering on and, yep. I hate to see it. Just like right, long... let's go to the operating room. Oh, okay. I guess it's kind okay, of funny. Okay, look good. Long... He looks healthy. Yeah. Oh, please take care of him, doctor. Oh, don't worry. I'm a professional. I've done this hundreds of times before. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure the screen is nice and clean. We're just going to wipe it down. <sighs> okay, there you go. That looks good. And then we're going to take this thing. But what is that? This is the screen protector putter on a helper. Yeah, screen protector putter on a helper. We're just going to... Put that on there, right, right, right there. Put it on nice and tight. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Isn't that just a phone now, case? We take the screen protector and very carefully. No, careful. Very carefully, just put it on. Make sure it fits nice and nice and snug right in there. Okay, that looks good. And now we gently, gently peel this back. There we go. And pop this off. What? Wha bam, bam. There what? you go. But what about all those air bubbles? See, look at all those air bubbles. Da, 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 da. Don't panic. Don't panic. I can take care of those. We just got to get something really heavy and put it on top of the phone. Wait, something really heavy? Well, my friend Cody, his mom's like 500 pounds. No, 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 no. We need something heavy. And believe me, if we needed a heavy person, we'd just get my ex-wife. Because she is so fat. Wow. So damn fat. Two fat, fat no, jokes no, okay. in one, me one oh, okay. second. Like, okay. one okay. segment. Put this under here. Well, what are you doing? I'm going to run it over with my car. We're well, going to break the phone. I'm not gonna break the phone, dummy. There's a screen protector on there. But this is a 3,000 pound car. It's gonna break the screen protector and the phone. What, look, what's the point of having a screen protector on the screen if it's not oh. gonna So yeah, he's gonna break the screen protector and the phone. So Junior's gonna have to steal some money to get a new phone. So that's what this is gonna be next, I guess. Protect the screen. But, 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 but I think it's gonna break it. It's not gonna break it, okay? We just gotta squeeze out that little air bubble and we need that weight, okay? So don't worry about it. Look, who's the screen protector doctor here? You. I've yeah, got air exactly. bubbles, yeah. I don't really here. care about the air I'm bubbles. I'm gonna run it over. Okay. So. All right, I'm gonna run this bad boy over. Then why aren't you in your car? Oh, because I have a Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata in a stormy sea blue. What does that mean? What it means is that I have park assist, so I can run over your phone without even being in the car. Wait, really? Like, like there's no one in the car? There's no one in the car. I can just do it right here from my key fob. Watch this. Hold on. It's going up. Oh, you hear that? Here it comes. Is that actually it how it works? Here we go. It's doing it. That sounds like it cracked. Yeah. There you go. What, it did? Yeah, I ran over it. Uh, well, let's check and see if the air bubbles are out. Okay. Yeah, well, that air bubble's still on there. Well, uh, but we just ran it over. No, it's okay. We'll run it over a few more times. Not a problem. We'll check the back. Oh, don't look at the back. Uh, show me the back. No, you don't want to see the back. Show me the back. <laughs> what? You broke my phone. Yeah. No, you broke your phone. What did you ran it over? Well, you didn't have a it screen. It sounded like it cracked. Back. That's not my fault. Bye. Oh, no, I got to get a new phone. And my dad's going to be mad. Ugh. Guys, guys, guys. Dude, what happened yeah. to your phone? Yeah, Junior. I've heard that starting line. Why? How do you mess it up that bad? Well, after or we put like the screen protector on it, there series. were air bubbles. So we tried to get the air bubbles out by running it over with a car. That's not how you get air bubbles out. I know, and now my phone's broken, and I don't know how I'm going to get a new phone. Dude, just ask your dad for some money. Yeah, he gave you $100 like it was nothing. Yeah, but, but he gave me the $100 for a new screen protector so he wouldn't have to buy me a new phone. If he finds out my phone's broken, he's going to ground me. Well, but if he can afford to give you $100, then he can afford to buy you a new phone. <sighs> Guys, I got something to tell you. What is it, dude? Yeah. Do you have certain feelings whenever you see me without my shirt? No. My dad has, like, a bunch of money stuffed under his mattress. Whoa, really, dude? Yeah. How much? Of course they know, figure It could be, out. like, a million dollars, or it could be just enough to hang off the side to make it look like there's a lot of money under the bed. Ooh. 
I don't know. I just, I really need the money, but I can't ask my dad for it because he'll ground me. Dude, yeah, just so take he's just it. gonna take Look, it. it's a lot of money under the bed, right? Just take the money. He's not gonna know. Well, Joseph, that would be stealing. Who cares, Cody? <laughs> Joseph's right. I should go there. My dad would never notice Jeez. the money's missing. So I'm just gonna go in there and take the money. I mean, it I makes sense. No. Uh, he won't notice a thousand dollars missing. Yeah, no, he won't. One. Sorry for the filler joke two, there, by the way. I'll, I'll at least acknowledge three, it. Three. Four. But better not be stealing my money. Yeah, of course he says that. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Who goes there? Eleven. <laughs> Ten. All right, guys, I grabbed a thousand dollars. Wow, you weren't lying. He really does have a lot of money under his mattress. Dude, you should have took more. Well, I just grabbed enough to get a new phone, so I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee if he can take me to the store. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't need anybody to take you to the store when you got the screen protector. Huh. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. My candy souffle is almost done. What the heck is that? Chef Pee oh, What do you want, Junior? Can you take yeah, what's me with the, the grunting show? Wait, where did you get all that cash from? Uh. Don't say under my dad's mattress. Don't say under my dad's mattress. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, definitely not under my dad's mattress. Dang what? it. Your dad has cash under his mattress? No, I didn't say he had thousands of dollars stuffed under his mattress. I didn't say that. He has to. He doesn't pay me any money, so he probably has cash under his mattress. Whether he does it, Chef. Yeah, okay. And if you go look and see it, uh, don't. I guess that's like. You know what? I'm gonna go. I guess, I guess that's making fun of the whole, like, don't say blah, blah, blah. Don't say blah, blah, blah on a uh, cliche. Like, so I guess that's some satire. I guess it's kind of funny. I actually don't mind that. What check? No, Chef Baby, don't check! Oh, dang it. Who's gonna take me to the store? Oh my god, look at all this cash! Oh yeah, I'm about to steal all of this. Wait, wait, what's that noise? <gasps> Chef Baby, what are you doing in my room? Uh, nothing. Wait, wait, are you stealing money from under my mattress? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I'm about to count all my cash, because I know exactly what's under my mattress. And if you stole even a dollar from me, I'm going to blame you for it! Uh-oh. Uh I accidentally told Chef Pee, Pee about the money under my dad's mattress. Oh, no. Wait, where's Joseph? Oh, he said he was out of here, dude, and then he took my shirt and ran off. That's okay. It was too tight for me anyway. Hey, guys. Say goodbye to Chef Pee, -Pee. What, Goodbye to Chef Pee, Pee? Why? He stole $1,000 from me, so now he has to go swimming with the fishes. I didn't steal money from you. Well, who did then? Ahem. What? Okay, yeah, so Bowser's yeah. gonna what? find out. Don't you think you should tell him you stole the money? I would get grounded. Yeah, but would you rather Chef Pee Pee died? Well, I don't want to get grounded. Junior, it'll just be for the rest of the video. <sighs> it'll just be for the rest of the video? Do the right thing. Telltale. Oh my god, guys, it's a telltale scene. Make up your mind. Yeah, is this like a... Oh my god, yeah, this is like filler. Help me, help me. Junior. Oh, Jesus Christ. Junior. Oh, don't. Just oh. look that way. Okay, thank you. Okay. Dad? Yeah, what? so it's making fun of like Telltale Games, I guess. Chef Just like the picking, money. choosing Wait, stuff. Then? It was me. <gasps> Junior, why did you steal money from me? What? Well, I needed a new phone. My phone broke. What the, the screen protector, Junior? The screen protector. There wasn't one on the back, and it, uh, I didn't want to ask you because I didn't want you to get mad, so I stole the money. Well, I'm more mad that you stole money from me. You should have just asked for it, Junior. That's what I said. So what's my punishment? 20 spankings. But wait, but what's his punishment, though? 20 spanking. Shut up. Wait, you get spanked as a punishment? Yeah. What? I, I want that punishment. Wait, uh, so you'll take this punishment for me? Yeah, spank me. Uh, Dad, uh, Cody said he'll take the spankings for me. All right, come on. I don't care who gets it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, yeah, let's get it. Okay, okay, good. They didn't include that. I was like, oh, God. So, yeah, honestly, um, actually, actually not. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't really find this video that funny, I guess. Honestly, the plot, it's very predictable. It's very predictable. But I will at least say that at least it does feel like it's like a flowing plot. Like, it doesn't feel like there's any random scenes, I'd say. I mean, well, actually, I guess the scenes where, like, Chef Pee Pee goes under the mattress, you know, well, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't I feel like this was... A decent video honestly I feel like it actually had like a flowing plot where you had the because I thought the screen protector thing was just a dumb gag but no it was actually kind of like the starter to like the whole problem I guess you know of him stealing but yeah as well the thing is is that we didn't get to that part until like halfway through the video so I guess that is kind of yeah I guess it is a little bit weird but I mean hey I guess I I mean it's at least a little bit interesting because 
a majority of the time, SMO videos just get right to the problem immediately because they know that they could, yeah, they know that that's like the focal point of the video. So they get to it immediately and then just have a ton of like filler in between there. This video, I feel like there wasn't much filler. I feel like it was, there was mainly like a build up with the beginning with the whole like screen protector and there were a ton of gags thrown in there. And then we got to the problem halfway through the video and then that went to the end of the video. And yeah, the problem is very cliche. It's just like, oh, you know, Bowser, uh, Bowser Jr. learns the lessons, you know, ask instead of like steal, you know, like that type thing. I I've seen this plot done before and it was very predictable, but I don't think this was terrible. I actually, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I'd say this was more of a passable video. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the like video, subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye.